Well, all right, all right, all right, and welcome back to Planet Gen X. And guys, that's me live streaming Star Wars Outlaws during the pre-release, the day it came out. Um, not sure how I feel about it yet. It's still a little early to tell. I'll, I'll say this. The prologue, you can't judge based on the prologue, the beginning section, because it's not representative of what you'll, what the whole game will be like. So um, the first time I live streamed, I did the first two hours, and that's all that was, was the prologue. And I am glad I did not, I was not hasty in my judgment, let me put it that way, because uh, the game does open up a lot more and things change. You get to do a lot more stuff. You get to access to, you know, upgrades and all that, different, different, uh, outfits and whatnot so yeah i'm glad I, i'm glad i reserved my judgment <clears throat> one thing though that this game came with uh baggage wise before it actually came out was the um fact that everybody was poo-pooing how ubisoft was trying to make it to where you don't own your game anymore you're not going to have a physical copy of the game and that ubisoft connect was a bad idea and this was gonna you know uh, that outlaws was kind of like a pilot for the for the ubisoft connect program the day of the pre-release that you can actually play the game early comes around and i'm thinking to myself i really you know y'all seen on the podcast i i very much have wanted to play this game i've been excited about it for a long time i have heard nothing but bs uh, you know uh, negativity after negativity after negativity from people about this that and the other thing about what's wrong with the game and how it's crap and I bet you a lot of people haven't even played the game. Nonetheless, I don't think I wanted it bad enough to pay. I might have paid $70 if it wasn't the, for the fact that you get other stuff in the $109 version, the $139 the dollar version. Um, and I'm not talking about like extra. I'm talking about like uh, in game, like you will not get access to all parts of the game. So. I'm like, I don't know about paying $70, man. I really would like to have the $110, $109 version, whatever it was. Um, and I was looking on the website, and it was saying, well, if you get on Ubisoft Connect, you can play right now. Well, that's what I want to do. I want to play right now. Yeah. It's early, three days early. I want to play right now because I've really wanted this game for a long time, despite what everybody said. So I thought to myself, how much is it? And I went and looked. 20 bucks a month. Well, $17.99 plus tax, depending on where you live in the U.S., it's 20, about 20 bucks a month. And not only that, you get access You get access to Star Wars Outlaws. You're ready to download it and play it right, right then and there, the full version with all the bells and whistles and all the extra goodies and all that stuff. And, of course, you get access to all the Ubisoft games, which, you know, the Assassin's Creed games are... There's so many Assassin's Creed games I didn't even know that existed on there that I was going through and looking. But everything Ubisoft makes, you can get access to... Um, it's basically Xbox Live, you know, uh, for for Ubisoft, essentially. But, you know, 20 bucks, and I can cancel at any time. I might finish this game in a month. I might take longer to finish it, so it might cost me 40 bucks. It might cost me 60 bucks if I go three months. That's still less than $70. That gives me three months to play the game, and I can cancel it any time. Now, personally... I'm not one of those guys that really cares about having a physical copy of the game because you can't do nothing with the box except stick it on the shelf and, you know, and if you're a YouTuber, make your background look pretty on YouTube. You can tell my background's not all that pretty, so I don't care that much. But here's the other thing you got to consider. What medium are you going to play this game on down the road? A lot of us don't hold on to our systems, our old systems, consoles or whatever. Many do. Yes, I get that. Many do, but a lot of us don't. And we're not going to have a way to play that game other than maybe the PC or the way Xbox does it. You get to play old like Xbox One games, uh, and I'm talking about the original Xbox, um, Xbox 360 and stuff. You can play no problem. Well, if you had the disc, it may or may not play. You don't know because those discs are going to get bit rot. And how long is that going to last? You might get lucky and it might last 10 years. You might have a really crappy disc that only lasts a couple of years and won't play. Or you'll get so far in the game and it'll just get to one point in the disc where you can't go any further. No matter what, it just won't read right. I've had that issue with PS2 games before. Uh, I had to buy a whole new game just to get past it. So, you know... This this whole wanting to hold on to the physical media and oh Ubisoft doesn't want you to own your game. Uh 
I don't really care. Like, I'm just trying to buy into that experience. And if that game's available on some stream site somewhere where I pay a monthly fee and have access to it, okay, cool. That works for me. Like, it's not important to me that I have, you know, my copy of Civilization from when I was a kid. I happen to have some games that I have a copy of uh, when I was a kid, but I don't think it matters in the grand scheme of things. In fact, one day I'll probably pull that out and show that to you guys. But um, nonetheless, so, you know, I think Ubisoft Connect is actually a good thing. I think the, there's a lot to be said for stuff like Xbox Live and, you know, you got the EA stuff. Um, pay a monthly fee, you get in, you get out when you want to. I mean, it would be different if they locked you in for a year or something like that. That would suck. But being able to come and go at will is just like these streaming services. If they fig ever figure out that they, they can lock you into a year, two-year contract or something like that, and that's the only way you can get it, that's what they're going to do because that's what's going to make them more money. Us hopping in and out of this stuff at, at our leisure, they're not going to put up with it for long. No, for sure. Um, so I'd say get used to it. I mean, it's going this way whether we like it or not. So, I mean, you know, the, the optical media drives being in consoles – are getting few and far between. You know, I specifically got my Xbox One X for having a, an optical drive. Uh, I was getting um, it was Hogwarts Legacy. Yeah, I wanted it on on uh, physical media. And, that, the, you know, and some stuff is really cool. Like, you got a cool map and stuff with that one. Yeah, that's great. But there's some games out there, man. All it is is a plastic box with a disc in it. And you're paying 60, 70 bucks for that. I don't know, man. I mean, we've been paying that price for games going back to the beginning of time, but I just don't see the appeal. You don't get cool box art anymore, man. Like back in the day with the old PC games and stuff, like you had the incredible box art that looked better than the actual game you were playing. In fact, that was true with a lot of Atari 2600 games. But I don't know how much good it's doing you to have your physical media. I really don't, because right now none of us have a really good way to keep that stuff you know, uh, the clouds, I guess, the the best way to keep it. And so that's essentially what you're doing with Ubisoft Connect and Xbox Live and EA, whatever it's called. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about, guys. I mean, like, go check out the live streams. I'm going to be doing another live stream uh, probably in that, probably every night, maybe. We'll see. I'll probably, I may have to skip a night here and there if the wife's home, whatever. But, uh yeah, so in fact, after I finish doing this video, I'm going to start another live stream. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys consider what I'm saying about the Ubisoft Connect because it, it there really is merit to it for a lot of people. I think a lot more people than that I than people would believe, like the naysayers. There's too much naysaying going on. We need more yay saying. How about that? All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you made it this far. Give us a like. Leave us a comment, man. I want to know your thoughts. You know, do you want do you want the physical media? Do you want do you give a shit? What do you care? Okay, that's cool. So, uh, just remember, as always, be excellent to each other, and uh, I'll see you on the flip side. All right, peace out. Yeah.